I'm so excited and happy that Equa Perez is back, and uh, not just back, but is back in a big form with uh, m more international athletes and quality ones coming in. The major marathon uh, runners in the world, uh, especially in Africa, they are here, and that make it uh, more interesting. And you can see Okwepe is like Christmas today. Everybody is excited, everybody is happy that the race is back. And for those doubting Thomases that thought Okwepe race was gone, they can see that Okwepe race is not gone. And Okwepe race, this is a reloaded Okwepe race. And interestingly, we are forming a board of trustee to institutionalize Okwepe race so that it can outlive us uh, after... Uh, we are out of power and we are out of this world. Uh, so Upper Paris are come to stay and I'm excited and also thank all the partners that believe in us and have faith with us. And you can see everywhere is bubbling and colorful. These are part of what we are reloading as far as sports is concerned. This uh, area, the topography, is good for marathon race. And so we are looking at domesticating different sports in different areas. For instance, uh, this area uh, is in our map for camping and training uh, distance race uh, athletes. And just like we have uh, Edo Central for gymnastics, uh, Edo South uh, definitely swimming and other related sports. So we are gradually domesticating and relocating sports to areas where we have competitive advantage and the people of that area uh, can take advantage of the opportunity that is created and in terms of tourism this place also is an area we are looking on for tourism and uh, not just for local athletes also for camping of national and international athletes. I've been told that the time I return this time is 20 minutes, uh, 21 minutes 50 seconds less than what I ran in 2019 so uh, it, it's good and I know because the 2019 I was running with some big men so I was following their pace. Unlike this year, I wasn't running with big men, I was running with athletes. The smile in the faces of our people, the tourism it brings, and the economic value that it brings to the community. For the past uh, three months, when the news came out that 28th of May will be up with Paris, uh, activities in this area has been at its optimal uh, level. So the economic aspect, the smile on the f face of the people, and also, we are gradually discovering young athletes that could represent us, not only in marathon, but 5,000 meters, 1,500 meters, and other long distance race. So, and also, it's bringing awareness. And in years to come, you don't be surprised that here we'll produce the new marathon uh, uh, champions for Nigeria from here. You know, in the past, I used to watch it on TV, but now I'm here live. And uh, I was scared that because of the past two editions that they did not do it because of the COVID-19, that they may not come out well. It is rather coming out a lot better than it used to be. So I'm happy. More so, uh, our Nigerian athletes, they have done a lot better than it used to be. They have all come up with their, uh, with PBs. So I'm very happy that this is going on, especially seeing the, the community, the support that the community has for, for this uh, event. Look at the the king himself, the royal highness, and all the chiefs here present, the deputy governor participated. Uh, it's something that we should all applaud. As a matter of fact, we just took a decision because uh, uh, the chairman of the uh, Road Race Committee, uh, Gazama, who is my first vice president, is here. We had a meeting yesterday that we are going to try to encourage every state to have at least one road race competition. And with that, at least we can improve on what we have. We can improve on our athletes. Our athletes will like to compete more. And uh, at least a lot of youth will want to participate because it is good to try to guide them young. We will encourage a lot of the young ones. Then the sponsors should come out and try to uh, help this situation. It is difficult now to have sponsors. Let the the the, the, the companies, the, the uh, our industries come out and try to help us and sponsor uh, events like this. 
it will go a long way. I'm excited that uh, Opepe Road Race 10 kilometers is back after the COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, I think we are quite excited with the part of this 8th edition. And it shows that uh, Nigeria can work, Africa is working. And I want to commend the facilitator of this race, uh, Mr. Mike, for making this possible. We are happy that the race is back. You know, the race, the race went on break because of the COVID-19 that hit uh, the entire world. But now it is back and we know that the race has come to stay. We are happy that it has come and it will remain. Uh, the Okwakwa race um, is going to be a thing that people will always look up to. And then we'll be looking forward. So you could see how happy everybody is. It's like a Christmas celebration for the people of Okwakwa uh, because of this race. And then this is what we want to achieve. We want to make people happy. We want to reach out to the people through sports. And um, so that through sports we'll be able to achieve what the um, government wants to achieve. In this one now, in this one they did today now, the locals were involved. Uh, you have the elites, we have the locals, all of them participated. And I'm sure when the medals are being given now, we'll find out the locals that won the race.